temperature? Um, it's pretty cold. It's about it's a good temperature for an ice bath. So uh, <laughs> maybe when the waves come down a little, uh, we'll go for a little swim this evening. Do some recovery. Yeah, a little recovery. Good morning from beautiful San Rafael. I am so excited to be here, not only because I'm meeting an awesome player, but also because I used to play here, so it's a little bit deja vu. It's very cool to be back. Lots of good memories here. Let's head off and see where the girls are training. First time I get a coffee though, because, yeah. That was so cool. That is actually the exact same gym that we used to work out in when I played here, but it just had a different name. There were some familiar faces in there. It was a little bit nostalgic for me, but full disclaimer, the girls had a scrimmage match last night, so they didn't do a full intense workout. It was just a bit of a recovery session, but we will catch up with them a little bit later at volleyball training and see what that looks like. <laughs> And here we are, back where it all began. That's not true, it's not true at all. I only played it like three years ago. My career has been much longer than that, but it still feels really cool to be back. This gym's funny because whenever I would describe people how to get here, I'd say, right, you get to the roundabout, you make your left, and you'll see this big gym, this huge stadium. Okay, it's not that. It's the one right next to it, the tiny little gym right next to it. So welcome to Salle Pierre Claire. Three hours later. And through the power of video, it's the next day. We're up to see where Jaylee lives, and last night she told me that her apartment's kind of nice, and she's she's kind of proud of it. So, mm, high expectations, Jaylee. Let's see what you got. Taking out my recyclables this morning. Yeah. Hi. How's it going? This place is so cute! I know, isn't it the sweetest? Adorable. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. So this is our pretty little walkway that we have up to our apartment. So it's like a house, but it's split into four apartments. So there's two on top and two on bottom, and it's me and three of my other teammates. We have a lot of fruit in our garden. So we have mandarins right here. And then this this tree gets um, grapefruits, which... Wow. Pretty, I'm from Iowa, so that's like wild to me. 
Over here we have lemons. It's kind of nice because we have two washers for just four girls, so it's never like an issue. This was the laundry I hung up last night, and um, it rained, so um, yeah. we'll just wait for it to dry again. Do you think I can eat it like right now? Yeah. How is it? Ah, too, too many seeds. <laughs> Hi. Hi Hello. Hello. This is my neighbor, Laura. Hi. Hello. So I'm upstairs. Be careful on the steps, they get slippery. I'm already so excited to see it. <laughs> it's so beautiful from the outside. That's nice. So that's like one other person lives back there. Hey, welcome to my crib. <laughs> this is my apartment. Uh, come on in. <laughs> All right, so the first door we have to the right is my bedroom. The only thing really special in here to me is my, I like to put little post-it notes up. Keep promises to yourself. And then the next door down the line is the bathroom. Very small, very French. I brought like all my American medicine because I hate being sick and half of one of my suitcases was just like medicine. Yes, always prepared. Next we have the kitchen. Protein as always. This is my cereal that I am absolutely addicted to. I just messaged someone from the US and I was like, can you please send me peanut butter? Like it's, I will pay you. Like it is <laughs> desperate times, call for desperate measures. And yeah, then you can see I have more notes up. By the end of the season, this whole thing will be just like covered in little quotes that I find meaningful. Handles are also my thing. So vanilla is my absolute favorite. Um, one of my teammates, uh, her name is Jessie. She's from Canada. Last season, um, she got me hooked on playing cribbage. Books that are in easy French so that I can learn a little bit more. Les vacances du petit Nicolas. And the French love Petit Nicholas. Over here I've got my Why Are All the Black Kids Sitting Together in the Cafeteria book um, to make sure that we're always staying up to date and um, staying woke. Dobble is, I don't think we really have this game in the US, but it's so much fun. Like me and my teammates get so competitive with this game. I can barely take care of myself and then we'll see if I can take care of this little guy. Well, look at it, it's so cute. I watered it one time since I got it. I've had it for like a month. Yeah, you're looking good. Should I name it? Definitely. It looks like a squirt to me. <gasps> it's squirt! <laughs> I love it! Okay, perfect. This is squirt. Unfortunately, you came on a rainy day, but it's a really nice view and I don't know, it's really peaceful, especially after a hard day of practice when you can just come home and look out at the sea and be like, maybe it wasn't so bad today. So, this is my happy place on my balcony. Um, I literally moved my table over here just so I could do yoga over here and uh, guess how many times I've actually done yoga? Zero! <laughs> but it'll happen. I have the space ready for it. I just need to actually do it now. Honestly, I do not think I would be as healthy as I am with my shoulder if it wasn't for my complex. You gotta invest in yourself. Very important. So like 9.30 to 10.45 I'll have weights. If it's Monday, I'll go to, to the kine after and I'll eat lunch and then I'll take a nap. I take a nap like every single day. Have some coffee and then practice is usually two to two and a half hours long. Um, usually I'll do one French lesson. I have an app that I use that's like a 30 minute lesson. Usually the evenings is the best time to talk to friends and family from home just with the time change. I think it's really important for pro athletes though to take time to do things outside of their sport and make sure they're not just volleyball, volleyball, volleyball because like you start to forget that you have this completely separate identity from volleyball. I live on the beach so I'll try and I mean when it's nicer I'll try and go to the beach on our off days um, or explore a different city around but uh, with COVID we can't explore too far anymore but really there's a lot of cute areas just to go and explore and just be outside and always trying to take time to do something that you love is important. Thank you guys so much for coming and seeing my apartment. It's been a lot of fun. Peace out. <laughs> well, I don't think she was exaggerating. Her place is so cute and literally a two minute walk from the beach, which is amazing. Uh, a little bit windy, a little bit, it wasn't even cold, just windy, breezy, stormy today. I really hope you guys enjoyed meeting Jaylee Winters. We're going to get her on the podcast a little bit later to talk about all things professional volleyball and her experiences so far in a couple of years living here. Make sure you guys hit subscribe, like, comment, do all the youtube -y things so that I can keep getting guests on here and keep bringing their lives to you. So thanks for watching, guys.
um, you get what you put into it. So I'm working hard and, um, mm -hmm. you know, earning my time on the court and just trying to get better every day. I love that you just said you get what you put into it. I feel like that's like a life mantra because yes. no matter what you want in life, all you have to do is just work towards that thing. Like there's really nothing that's unachievable. Okay, if you want to be an astronaut, maybe that's the chances are more slim. But if you just decide, this is what I want, and this is what I'm gonna work towards. Who's yes, stop and I am such a fan of manifestation and just speaking yeah. things into existence. Like, I've been telling people literally since I was 14 that I was gonna do this, and I think that was such a, a huge part of it actually coming true, is just saying it out loud, and then yeah. the universe just works in your favor. <laughs>